Hello, Goy Miles, everybody doing this Sunday morning. Hope you can have a nice relaxing, what is not um, a Sabbath day of the week. No, the Sabbath is actually Saturday. You see, Jesus Christ was obviously crucified on Friday. Saturday was the day when he was resting, hence Sabbath, and Sunday was the day that he was resurrected. So, um, the Sabbath that you're, that you've, <laughs> probably for your entire life, um, thought that you're not observing is, is not actually the Sabbath at all. Sabbath was... Sabbath was Saturday. What happened to him? Well, it was changed. It was changed by the Catholic Church about 300 years after the death of Jesus Christ. Uh, why do they change it? Isn't the word of the Bible supposed to be um, um, unchangeable? You know, well, yeah, <laughs> that tells you a lot about the Catholic Church, doesn't it? They might not be as Christian as you think. Um, that would certainly explain the, the modern Pope and why he doesn't appear to be doing anything to, to help um, native Europeans. Anyway, um, let's, let's talk about Doomsday Clock then. Um, this is a book which reminds me of another book. Uh, let me know if this reminds you of anything. A explosion goes off. Lots of people die. The explosion causes people to turn against the superheroes in the streets. Politicians need to do something, but there's something about the explosion which is not as it seems. There's a conspiracy of thought. Does, does that remind you of anything? anything? It reminds me of 2006, 2007's Marvel Civil War, which had the same plot device. Um, the explosion and then the, the, the crowds protesting against the superheroes. It's pretty much the same thing going on here, really. Um, I don't know if anyone's pointed it out before. But yeah, the, the same thing's going on here, but just with different characters, with different superheroes and a different president. We've got, um, that's definitely President Trump there. He's talking about huge things. Um, so yeah, things have slightly changed over the years. The, uh, what would you call Warshak, the original Warshak character? A, a libertarian, a right-leaning libertarian, a man who's, all about um, telling the truth, no matter what the, the personal consequences, as we saw at the, the end of the arc. He's a straight white male who's got a terrible mum, a terrible single mum who abused him. And he's a hero. He's the biggest hero of the book. Well, you can't have that in the comic book today, can you? <laughs> You're certainly not going to have a, a uh, you know, superhero who's um, reacting in a strong moral way against his, his um, upbringing by a, a not so brave and courageous um, empowered single mom. Now, so that's got to be <clears throat> wiped from history. Can't have Rorschach, can't have what Kovacs. Instead, we've got to have the diversity Kovacs. The diversity, uh, I, I don't even know what this guy's name is, but the diversity Rorschach. It appears that he's sidelined, it appears that no one's listening to him, but there we go, Batman's there saying, oh, perhaps he was right all along. So he'll play a big role at the end of the book, called diversity uh, Rorschach. The real Rorschach, no, no role at all. So the majority of this book is superheroes trying to fight against Big Blue and failing. Right, there's some jokes about his todger flapping in the wind. Um, there, there are moments of, of um, you know, humour in the book, which is really needed, <laughs> desperately needed, because it does seem like somewhat of a, of a chore uh, to, to get through. So yeah, just the, 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 the people protesting against the, the superhero thing. That to me, it just ple appears a little bit, you know, played out. You need to do something a little bit new. So I don't want to spoil the, the book here for you, if for anyone who's reading it. Is anyone reading Doomsday Clock? We're deep into it now. This is issue number nine or 12. And I haven't seen any other reviews online. People just, they're just not very excited about the book. It's it's kind of lukewarm. It's like having a shower where it's not particularly cold, but it's not particularly hot either. And you just kind of want to get it over and done with. Uh, I think the the, the uh, watch, Watchman thing, the, the Watchman metaphorical milk cow is kind of running dry. It needs to be retired because Jeff Johns is doing a decent job here, but there's, there's not a lot left in it really. Unless you're going to bring back the original Rorschach and... I can't see the comic book industry allowing that to happen today. 
because yeah because he's straight white male because he's a moral person because he's not on the left because um, you could even call him right wing and because of his, his background um, fighting about uh, fighting back against the adversity of um, his abusive single mom um, same kind of um, situation actually that um, Stephen Molyneux the, fo the, uh, the philosopher um, has in, in, in his real life where the um, the man starts to realize what's happening in the world because um well the it all comes from from childhood and it comes from um deep uh, psychological um self-discovery um, understanding who you are like the oracle at delphi says know thyself understanding what made you and in understanding what made you you can start asking some really you know important questions about the the modern world and where it's started to go wrong and if you do that today in comic books well, it's going to all lead you to the the single mom matriarchal welfare state, which I keep talking about here on this channel. And people don't want to talk about that because we're living in a very corporate world. The corporations want to sell stuff to the ladies, so you can't tell the truth about ladies, can you? Not on these corporate plantations. Got to be very careful. Yeah, so if I was writing a comic book like Doomsday Clock, would I make it about a man discovering the truth about the modern world? Well, I'd want to. Would I be allowed to? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, perhaps it's time for me to write my own comic book. Okay, so um, there, yeah, nothing left in, in Watchmen. Nice to see Trump not demonised. He was portrayed as <clears throat> just another politician thinking about the, the next election. But yeah, this definitely had feelings to me of 2006-2007 um, Civil War, really. With the explosion, the crowds... Uh, I'm saying something must be done about the superheroes, a big conspiracy going on. And yeah, it's just, it feels, because it's got big blue with his todger flapping in the wind, it feels a, bit, a little bit redundant and, and dated, in my opinion. But what's yours if you read the comic book? And I don't think a lot of people have, really. Um, where have I gone wrong? And why is this the, the best thing since the original Watchmen? It's not, is it, really? But if you think it is, yeah, let me know. Okay, I'll wrap up the review there, then. We'll be back Monday probably with a Conan the Barbarian review. Is Conan going to get to save a lady? Of course he's not. But it might be fun. Oh, that looks like a quite an interesting villain. So yeah, watch out for that review on Monday. No end of uh, video review there. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd be so kind. And take care everyone. Have a great what remains of the Sunday, which is not the Sabbath. And I'll catch you all later.